Another very significant difference between the operation of the human eye and the kind of passive camera eye that Douglas Harding's seeing strategy depends upon is that whereas the eye of a camera and the ideal eye of the seer in Harding's work is static and simply takes in the world in a, with, with minimum interpretation and minimal active involvement, the actual human eye itself is very, very involved and is moving. In fact, as uh, uh, Noe and Regan point out, vision is inactive. In order to see, we have to move. And the evidence of that is all around us. Whilst I'm walking along the path, which is a bit more than I've not been on before, whilst I'm walking, the trees that are on the right side of this path are kind of flowing around me. I think it's referred to as optic flow. These trees are flowing around me. Their shapes are changing as I move. Their relative size is changing. The ones in the distance are small. The ones right close up to me are very large. And their the relationship to one another is changing as I'm moving, then moving the ones behind. So the what I'm seeing is a major is majorly affected by the movements that I'm making. And uh, Noe and Regan say that that's not just a uh, sort of interesting interesting phenomenon. That's actually part of our seeing. The fact that these things are changing shape, apparently changing shape, giving different images on the retina and would appear differently in photographs. It's giving us massive amounts of information about what these objects are. And it's a sense part of the construction of those objects, part of our cognitive construction of those objects. Because what's happening apparently is whilst I'm walking, whilst I'm moving my head and while my eyes are moving around, all that information, all that proprioceptive information from my muscles and my joints, from the balance centers in my ears, that kind of thing, all that information about the orientation of my body and the relationship between one part of my body and the next is being factored in the visual information I'm getting from my eyes. So, whilst these objects appear to be changing shape, what that shape change um, means, what that information is, 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 what's happening to that information is it's being processed alongside information about movement, about orientation. large, moving around these things. And again, the information from that you know, saccade, the small muscular movements that are taking place, is processed and alongside the visual information uh, to give me, to provide me with what I call vision. So the idea of vision is not it's just a camera held up against the world. What cameras do, which is interesting, is they provide images to behave in the way the world behaves. They don't duplicate our eyes, they reproduce an illusory object to which our eyes respond in the way that they respond to the real world. Provided we stay still, we start moving around the photograph. Thank you.